You know, I don't know. I just wasn't. I just wasn't on today. I got black. I got white. What you want? Hop outside and go and hop up in a fan. What's going on you guys, it's your boy Man Like Tatsy and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a vlog but you know, it's just an ordinary day, we got soccer, we got the gym, I'm going to show you guys, hopefully I can get a few clips of me training, I'm going to ask a friend if he can record. Sorry I didn't record a vlog yesterday, I uploaded a story time instead, I figured you guys would want to see a story time instead of another vlog, you know, back to back to back. But you know, I'm back with them, um, I hope you guys are enjoying them, make sure you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, also, how are you guys liking the new intro? Um, it's something simple. Um, I just put it together in like an hour or so. Just thought it would add, you know, a vibe to the to the to the video. Didn't want to just like have a plain plain old video without no intro. You know what I mean? And a man's a YouTuber now, so you know, a man's gotta gotta upgrade and that, you know. But yeah. So right now I'm just gonna go eat. Um, I'm not sure what I want to eat. Probably like toast and avocado again, and probably some cereal. Let me know what kind of cereal you guys like, because I'm more of a Nutri-Grain person. But I don't think we have Nutri-Grain, so I would either have like Cocoa Pops or whatever. Guys, I'm on the healthy thing, but I'm on a bulking thing, you know what I mean? Came from the gym yesterday, my body is so whore. well. I have a few things to tell you guys, but I'm going to leave that for the for the near the end of the video. Um, it's about, you know, my journey, what's going on with life, what I'm about to do, um, and just some future plans, you know? After training, we got some guests again. I'm going to interview them, see what, you, see what you guys think of them, you know? I'll ask them about their life, how training's going, you know? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, Healthy option. I'm telling you guys, I'm a healthy guy now. Me, I used, to, I, used to eat, I used to eat anything and everything. Now I'm trying to change my lifestyle, I'm trying to change, you know, how I eat for the benefit of me and to inspire you guys. Eat healthy, guys. I might eat a fruit as well, an apple. So guys, I'm just gonna eat my cereal and I'll get back to you whenever I get back to you. I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing because like, there's not much to show you guys, honestly. I'm just gonna be chilling and watching my YouTube or either my phone, you know? Boring days out here, guys. You're not going to uni. What else are you gonna do, man? So guys, I'm just sitting down my bed just watching youtube i don't know i've been watching sheldon tweedy a lot lately like his journey inspires me so i've just been watching it a lot and also guys i don't know about going to the gym today i don't know it's just my shoulder my shoulder i don't know it's been feeling weird it's been feeling like like it pops like all the time so i'm not sure what that is and i'm not trying to like make excuses but like if i go to the gym injure it it's just another setback that i don't really need at the moment but i'm gonna see the physio at the club today see what he says about it hopefully it's nothing too bad um, if I'm still feeling the pain, I'll go to the doctors or something like that, get like a scan on it. But yeah, because I've been going to the gym these last few days, <clears throat> been working on my legs and my arms and I've been feeling it, but I haven't really been taking much notice to it. So I probably should do that um, to, you know, prevent further injury, as I said. But yeah, guys, this is just the, this is, this is the life, man. Injuries come and go. Luckily, I haven't been injured like really bad ever in my life touch wood but yeah hopefully this is something minor I don't want to have to get like surgery or anything like that but I did I did search up on the internet and they said that it could be like a what is it, like an RC joint injury or something like that because I don't know if I told you what happened but like I had to carry a weight all the way down with my shoulders and that must have like done something to it but and you footballers you tell me do you think grip socks actually work because like I've just been wearing grip, grip socks lately and I'm not sure if I find them any different to just normal, like, socks. Not like football socks, but like normal, just like, like Nike or like Under Armour socks. Because I wear Under Armour socks and I don't really find the difference between grip socks and Under Armour socks. And nowadays there's so many, um, like, companies doing, or like, companies, just like, some of my friends that do grip socks now. And I just find them all the same, you know what I mean? Um, obviously there's like tape design. Um, I haven't been blessed to be sponsored by them yet, but I've been sponsored by other grip socks companies and I'm not sure if I find that if I see any difference to be honest with you guys. So I don't know, you guys let me know if you find a if you actually find a difference between normal socks and grip socks. I would actually like to know. But for me, not really. If you're gonna slip in your shoe, just get a get a tighter shoe. A boot, I mean, you know, that's what I do. I get a tighter boot so I don't really slip a lot. 
So yeah, I just don't find them that necessary. But you know, I understand the purpose of them. You know what I mean? It's it looks they look good, and for someone that wears like cut socks like I do, they would look pretty good with them. But me, I'm just gonna stick to my white Under Armour socks. And I also heard a theory that like my old captain told me this at Blue Eagles that um. If you wear white socks, cut socks, it confuses the opposition because like usually the balls are white so it confuses them to think that your socks are the actual balls so if you do like a step over or something like that, it confuses them. I'm not sure about that theory, it actually kind of makes sense to me, I'm not gonna lie. So you guys let me know if you agree with that. And I think also, um, I'm getting a haircut, I should be getting a haircut today, a fresh cut. It could be a video that I post today as well, a $15, a $20. $20 haircut versus a free haircut. Uh, one of my friends who does, who's a barber is giving me a free cut, so shout out to you. You know who you are, you see them in a video coming up. But yeah, I'm gonna be testing how a $20 haircut is to a free haircut. Obviously it's not free for everyone, but for me, I wanna see how the differences are compared to the haircuts I usually get at the African barber shop at on Peachy Road. But yeah, what do you guys, what do you guys think about cheating on barbers? I don't, I don't get it. I think that if, like, Say you in another country, are you gonna really wait for you to get home to like wherever you actually live to go to the bar or are you just gonna go? And even if it's not even a different country, what if you like move house or something? Like are you really gonna travel all the way if you're living far to go to the same bar you, you have that you've been going to? I don't know. I think me, I'll just, I don't really, I change barbers a lot depending on what I like. Cause there's, there's been barbers that mess you up real bad and you're like, no way am I going back to this guy again. That's my view on it. I don't really mind. But yeah, I need a fresh cut. My hair is kind of looking, looking dead right now. I don't know, my hair's been going really, growing really quick. I don't know, maybe my head just miss, misses dreads and wants me to get dreads back, but I'm not getting it. So I just have to constantly cut my hair. And also tomorrow we have a um, soccer dinner, players dinner with like all the seniors and the women's as well. So that'll be quite nice. I'll see you guys when something interesting is happening in my life. So guys, it's been a couple hours, and um, I've been I've just been watching YouTube, eating some healthy fruits and that. So yeah, um, travels the world. He's been to like South Korea. I'm watching a video right now of him in Brazil. It's like really interesting, cause like it's interesting, cause like we get a sense of like what the what the world is, the other side of the world is like. And yeah, it's just interesting, especially with the North Korea one. He explains about like how it's not as strict that everyone says it is. You know, he's able to record and have a camera around. So I find that quite interesting because I've been told that South, um, North Korea is like a place where it's full lockdown security. And yeah, I just find it quite interesting. So if you guys like watching videos like that, you can educate yourself. Yeah, so quick update, someone ate my avocados. Bro, like I'm so mad about it, but it's not the end of the world, obviously. But what am I gonna do now? Like I just I just toasted my bread. What? I'm gonna put butter on it only? Oh my days, man. Like you pick out the food you want and people eat it. Like what do you you know? I don't know, I'll find something else. What should I put on it? I might just have butter on my toast and jam. And then I'll make oats, I mean. I'll make oats. You guys remember when I showed you me um making putting those fruits? Yeah, the fruits are gone. As you can see, I completely destroyed that. Had to destroy it. Had to. No more toast. It's all gone, man. It's all, it's all in my stomach, man. I was actually hungry as hell, man. I was so hungry. But that was good to get into the system. Hopefully, it'll give me the energy to, you know, do well in this training session tonight. Um, today's Thursday, usually a kind of like a, not like a really intense training, but we usually do like pad and play warm-up so like we'll start off with the warm-up a few run-throughs possession pattern play drills so like passing basically again and then we'll do like a small like a small game or like a short game so yeah keen for that um keen for the session ahead so i'm in the car now um my mom came actually a bit earlier but she came at 4 40 and it is currently 4 57 i should get there around 5 35 if i'm if i leave right now but yeah, it's a long trip. 
I wish I could actually record like some of the way there, but I don't have anyone in the car with me. As you can see, it's just me. I'll see you guys when I get there. I don't know. I'll ask my friend to like film a little bit of the training session so I can give you guys some clips. But if not, I'll catch you guys after the training. But yeah, for now, I'll see you later. What's up, you guys? It's a bit bright, but I've arrived at training and um, it's like 3.40 right now. So I got here pretty much the time I thought I'd get here. I'm just going to chill in the car for a little bit. Yeah, I'll catch you guys after training. Latana, Yo, what's up, man? How was training? It was good, bro. It was good. How was session or? Huh? There's no game this week, so I was taking it light, you know. Taking it light. Yeah. Aren't you guys playing internal? No. Are you guys playing? Yeah, we're playing. Who playing? Internal. Playing is ourselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> guy doesn't know what internal means. It's not serious. <laughs> Wait, so you guys going 11 v 11? Yeah. So you guys had that many players? Yeah, we did. You got 22 players? We'll probably oh no, you got Hatch away. and them coming. Hatch is coming. Oh, Hatch coming? Bro, we <laughs> saw you. Oh, turn the lights on. Because we can't hey, see. Where's the ladder, bro? That was training, man. It was good, bro. Yeah. Hey, it was hard, but you know. It's always good. If it's hard, it's always good, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, today. <laughs> today, I couldn't score. <laughs> I couldn't shoot. So you can flip the camera on you. I couldn't shoot. I don't know what happened, man. Today was the worst thing I've ever done in my mm -hmm. life. But you know, we moved past it. You got to get that it happens. Man. And we're gonna move on. But I'll catch you guys when I get home. Nice. Like so, yeah, guys, I'm home now. Let me just give you a rundown of the session. Um, obviously, when I got there, I had like 30 minutes to just kick the ball around because I got there pretty early, as I said before. And then we got into a warm up where we just run around the pitch a couple of times and then we get into our actual warm up where, you know, we do the, um, you know, the activation things and we do the, you know, the, um, what are those things? The stretches where you're just where you're moving around, you know, doing loosening up, loosening up, basically like just a normal warm up, yeah. And you know, through this I'm sore, you know, I don't know, I just wasn't I just wasn't on today. Like after we did the warm up, you know, I was kinda good, we did a few sprints and then we got into this thing where it was like fast feet and I kept hitting the you know the poles and I I was just like, Why am I hitting the poles? Like I do this a lot. Why am I hitting the poles as fast feet? And you know, that was just the start of the training session and that probably what that's probably what set me up for the session to be you know not as good as i hoped it would be for myself you know then we moved on to a passing drill wait yeah then we moved on to a passing drill um the passing drill was it was okay like just it, it was a passing drill i was familiar with so i knew kind of the movements and there was a few times where my touch was off or my pass was off like a pass went a little bit too high, pass went a little bit, you know, itch, it, it bubbled, you know. Things that we can blame on the pitch, you can blame ourselves, but, you know, at the end of the day, I'm the player. Moved on to like this kind of like pressing simulation that we we're going to do in a game when we versed a certain formation. Um, that one was okay. At the start, it wasn't too good because like, see, I was set to play, I was set to do, I had two jobs. I had to cover one side but still make sure that I was going to press the left back because I play right wing. So I was kind of confused on like, because I was supposed to cover one side, but how am I going to cover the, it was, it was kind of confusing and, you know, I wasn't happy with myself, but towards the end, I kind of got to it. Yeah, I kind of got it, you know, so hopefully it, I get better over time with that. And then we did like a p possession thing. I just kept losing the, like I just, Either maybe because I didn't have anyone to play with, but I kept losing the ball and like turning into players. It just wasn't. It just wasn't a good session for me this today. You know what I mean? And then we moved on to some shooting. Um, well, I, to be honest, in the possession one where we counterattacked, I did score. It was a pretty good goal. But other than that, like I don't really take much away from that because I didn't really do well on that. I'm not gonna lie. And then we did some shooting for a little bit. And I don't know, man. I know that I can't really finish. But like, see, it wasn't like my shots were going wayward, they were going wayward. They were close, but I just wasn't satisfied because I knew I should be scoring that. I know the, the keepers that we have are like class, they're really good keepers, but I know for myself, like, I, I should be scoring that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't the best training session, and obviously, everyone has those training sessions where you're just not on. But, you know, we're talking about MPL here, and I, they, they can't be happening, can't be happening. So it's just for me to like work on, just make sure every training session I'm 100% mindset on the training session, you know, there's a lot of things that could, you know, distract me in that. So 
I don't know, just, just to make sure next session that I'm fully on and that I'm fully focused on the training session. Whether that be different types of eating, sleeping, earlier, but whatever it is, I'll work it out and work on getting a better training session for myself. But if you stay for this long, um, you know that I was going to talk about something, talk about like my life and what's happening from now. Um, as some of you guys know that I quit my job, I quit my job, I felt like it wasn't benefit me, benefiting me at all and to be fair the pay wasn't that good either so for myself I felt like I was just you know wasting my time a bit you know obviously I was getting money but it just wasn't enough for me to stay now right now I'm just gonna focus on my soccer career um, training at like every day going to the gym when I can I'm just trying to fully focus on the on the things that I'm passionate about because I know a lot of people that go to uni a lot of people that um, are in a place right now that they don't want to be you know, either they're forced to do it, either they're... Because you're not guaranteed a job. It, it's not guaranteed a job. Going to uni is not guaranteed a job. There's many ways to get money nowadays. So I felt like for me, it was just just soccer. But as in opportunities, um, my agent hasn't really said anything about opportunities at the moment because of COVID. But opportunities should be coming up throughout the season if I am performing well, obviously. Um, there will be a lot of videoing and a lot of match analysis, I hope, during the season for me. But yeah, that's basically just what I wanted to tell you guys. I've made it this far. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching even if you didn't make this far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below what you think about everything I talked about. Remove, man. Peace.